Welcome to ABC Preschool Storytime. I am Miss Natalie from the Harding County Public Library. This story time will be about the letter B and about butterflies. We will start this story time by singing the alphabet song. Then we will sign the alphabet. I will talk to you about butterflies and I will read three stories to you. We will end the story time with a craft. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time won't you sing with me? Are you ready to sign the alphabet? Last week, we learned the letter A. This week, we're going to le learn the letter B. Open your hand and fold in your tongue. This is a letter B in sign language. I'm going to show you now the whole alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Next, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the letter B and butterflies. Let's talk about butterflies. Butterflies start their life as an egg, a teeny tiny egg, not a big one, but a teeny tiny one. Then out comes a, what comes out that egg? A caterpillar, that's right. And that caterpillar eats and eats and eats, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then when it's ready, it forms a cocoon. And then after a few days of waiting, what comes out of that cocoon? Butterflies, just like the butterflies behind me. That's right. Are you ready for some stories about butterflies? Good. Listen up. Everybody Loves Butterflies by Tennis Taylor and illustrated by Matsumi Kurukawa. Little Caterpillar didn't like change. His brothers and sisters had all turned into butterflies and he knew that one day he would too. But he wanted to stay a caterpillar forever. Change is good, said a lovely swan. Don't you want to become a beautiful butterfly? But the little caterpillar didn't. I like being a caterpillar. I don't ever want to change. Caterpillars are so boring, said a bright dragonfly. Butterflies are all the colors of the rainbow. But little caterpillar thought that so many colors would just make him dizzy. You will eat nectar from flowers, said the buzzy bumblebee. Nectar is delicious. 
but little caterpillar liked eating leaves. He liked the satisfying crunch they made. Think of all the adventures you'll have, said a tiny ant. You'll see the world. But little caterpillar didn't see the point. He was happy here. What about flying? asked a friendly robin. Butterflies can fly high in the sky. Little caterpillar looked up. Can you look up? What do you see now? Probably your ceiling. But the caterpillar saw the sky. And the sky seemed an awfully long way away. Everybody loves butterflies, said the spindly spider. Who do you know that loves caterpillars? Me, said the little caterpillar. I love caterpillars. Little caterpillar went to see Owl. Owl was the oldest and the wisest animal he knew. Oh, Owl, must I become a butterfly? Why can't I stay a caterpillar forever and ever? Little caterpillar, smiled the owl. You are a caterpillar now, and one day you will be a butterfly. You will still be you. You will just be you with wings. That very night, little caterpillar snuggled down deep and had a long, long sleep. And when he woke up, what do you think happened? <sighs> He had wings, glorious wings, wings with red and purple spots. He flapped them a few times to dry. He looked amazing. He flew up high in the sky and he looked down at the world. He ate nectar from the flowers and flew a loop-de-loop. -loop. It was fantastic. Yippee, he whooped, whisked past, as he whisked past Owl's tree. I love being a butterfly. I want to be a butterfly forever and ever. Old Owl laughed. <laughs> I'm glad to see that some things never change. And little butterfly wheeled to the sky on his brand new wings, waving to all his friends. This is the amazing life cycle of a butterfly. Remember, its life starts as an egg. Out of the egg comes a little larva, which we call caterpillars. All caterpillars do is eat and eat and eat and shed their skin so they can grow. When they're ready, they form a cocoon, which we can call chrysalis. And when the caterpillar transforms in a chrysalis, out comes a butterfly. Hello, little one. A monarch butterfly story by Zina Pliska and Fiona Halliday. Coming out of my egg, I see, what color do you see on this page? Yes, green. I crawl from green leaf to green leaf, eating and waiting. Waiting for something other than these green leaves. Everything is green. And then I see orange. Orange is gigantic and I am so little. Hello, I call out. Orange swoops down, down, down. Graceful and beautiful wings catch the wind. And then orange soars up, up, up and away. One day, orange lands to sip the sweet nectar from a nearby flower. I sneak a peek at those magnificent wings. Our eyes lock and I stop munching. Hello, little one, Orange says. Um, me? Are you talking to me? I look down shyly. 
Yes, I see you watching me every day. I love your wings, I say. You know, you remind me of me, Orange says. Once I was just like you on this milkweed plant. I wish I was like you, I say. I want to fly over everything. I want to see everything. I want to know everything, just like you. One day you will. For now, enjoy the yummy green leaves. And off orange flies, flit, flutter and swoop. Where are you going? I call out. I'll be back, orange responds. When orange returns the next day, I show off the interesting lines on my green leaf. I remember when everything looked new, Orange says. Orange so shows me how to climb to the very top of the milkweed. Can you feel the wind push against you, little one? Orange asks. Is this what flying feels like? Almost, Orange says. And off orange flies, flit, flutter and swoop. I can't wait to fly with orange. What's the world like? I ask when orange returns. Orange says, the sunflowers are blooming. So big and so yellow. The jacaranda tree is bursting purple. And the bougainville bushes are blossoming red. Walls of red. All I've seen are these green leaves. I can't wait to fly with orange. Where have you been today? I ask when orange lands for a visit. I flew above a school today. The children were laughing and playing. I flew through a forest today. The trees touched the sky. I flew over the ocean today. The water went on and on forever. The only place I've been is this milkweed plant. I can't wait to fly with Orange. One day Orange says, You're not so small anymore, little one. Your life as a caterpillar is almost complete. You'll be a chrysalis soon. And then I'll be able to fly? I ask. Not yet. Inside your chrysalis, you'll become a butterfly. Then you will fly. Orange says, I dream of how the wind will rush under my wings when I fly with orange. We'll see so many colors and all the different places together, I say. My life as a butterfly is almost complete. I won't be here when you come out, Orange says. Can you wait for me? I don't think so, but you'll see how amazing it is to fly. But I want to fly with you, I say. I know, but I must go. We all must someday. Will you ever come back, I ask. No, Orange says gently. We say one last goodbye. Your life as a butterfly will be so beautiful, says Orange. And off Orange flies. Flit, flutter and swoop. It's time for me to become a chrysalis. In darkness I transform. So many changes are happening inside. Coming out of my chrysalis, I look for orange. I call out. Nobody answers. Orange is gone. My own new orange wings are tiny and crumpled. I can't fly yet. Unsteady, unsure and alone, I wait. My wings are wet as tears. But then I feel the wind push against me. I remember orange and the day I climbed on to the top of the milkweed plant. Finally, my wings unfold and dry. They are magnificent. They catch the wind. I am graceful and beautiful. I can flit, flutter and fly. 
I soar high over the world. I see the children playing and the trees that touch the sky and the endless ocean. Then, down below, on my swaying milkweed plant, I see a tiny new caterpillar watching me. Remembering orange, I swoop down and land on a nearby flower. Hello, little one, I say. Our last story for today is Waiting for Wings by Lois Ellert. Out in the fields, eggs are hidden from view. Can you see the eggs? Yeah, they're hidden here, the blue ones and the yellow ones there. Clinging to leaves with butterfly glue. Soon, caterpillars hatch. They creep and chew. Each one knows what it must do. Find a place where winds don't blow. They make a case in which to grow. Do you remember how the case is called? These ones? Yes, cocoon or chrysalis. Caterpillar changes now begin. Body and wings take shape within. When it's time, each case is torn. Wings unfold, new butterflies are born. They pump their wings. Get ready to fly. Then hungry butterflies head for the sky, looking for flowers with nectar to eat. They catch a whiff of something sweet. They follow that fragrant scent of perfume until they find our garden in bloom. We've been waiting for wings, says the flowers. We watch them circle, land on their feet, unroll their tongues and begin to eat. What are they eating from the flowers? Yes, that's right, the nectar. They dip and sip then fly away, back home to the fields. They have eggs to lay. What is going to come out of the eggs? Yes, caterpillars. These are all different kinds of butterflies. And these are all different kinds of flowers that butterflies like to eat nectar from. Let's make our craft now. For our craft today, we're going to make this butterfly. We're going to fold the wings. You're going to need two pages from a magazine. And it's easier if the pages aren't too sturdy. You're gonna need either one big popsicle stick or two smaller ones. You're going to need two googly eyes. You're going to need school glue. And you're going to need a little piece of tape. Make sure, make sure that the magazine pages have a clean edge and, we, and choose a side that you think look, has the prettiest colors. Then start folding. Don't make your folds too big. And also don't make them too small because you're just going to make it hard on you. My fold is this big. 
then flip the page and do it again. And flip, do it again. You keep doing that until you get to the end of the page. going to look like this. Do the same with the other page, but do it in the other direction. Now you have two harmonica pages, one smaller and one longer. Fold them double so you know where the middle is. Do that with both of them. together and put a little piece of tape in the middle so they stick together. And then shape your wings. Pull the sides out a little bit. It already looks like a butterfly. We're still going to make the body of the butterfly. We're going to glue it on with Elmer's glue. Put a little glue on the top of your tape and glue your body on. Now, because this piece isn't very thick. If you put on one side, it's going to tilt, so be careful. And hold it while you put glue on the top for your eyes. How many eyes are we going to put on? Yes, two. One. And two. And I'm going to lift it up so you can see, but I would advise you to leave it laying down while yours dry. This is how your butterfly is going to look.
Thank you for watching this story time. Today, we sang the alphabet, we signed the alphabet and learned about the, how to sign the letter B. We talked about butterflies. I read three stories to you and we made a craft. I hope I see you next week. We will talk about the letter C and about clouds. See you next week.